So I'm here with Lucas Adams and Mary Beth Evans, and how are you guys doing? doing Good. Yeah, We're yeah, having a yeah. fun day. This yeah, is so are. fun. Yeah. Well, you, you, personally, you've had a lot of exciting stuff happen oh, with your daughter I getting know. married and her group grandson. I how know. It's like the time of my life. Oh. You know, people say, oh, the 20s or what? I, you know, the 50s are the time of your life. I am having the best time ever. My mother-in-law has always told me that the 50s were great, but now she says the 80s are the best. So. I think that just gives uh, oh, it just yeah. gets better and better. Yeah, but um, something it's great. Look to. Yeah, <laughs> so much fun things. Yeah. Oh, congratulations on that. Thank you. Uh, your story is taking a serious twist here. Yes. How, how do you feel? You thought things were going well. Just like, yeah. <laughs> no, no joke. I mean, you get the girlfriend, but then the little secret comes out. Oh yeah, oh yeah. No, there's yeah, there's never a you know, trip. Always has like a good thing going for a for a second. Yeah. And then something's going to happen that has to change a little don't you bit. I think this show is kind of like, yeah, you don't want to get too happy because if you get happy, yeah. you know that something is lurking oh, around that, the corner. A, yeah, if there's anything too good, it means yeah. there's something. That's what my happens. husband calls the MGM phone call. You know, you're yeah. all happy yeah. and then you find out, you no, know, no, your sister no. died or something. Oh, yeah, exactly. Oh, yeah. 100%. 100%. So, yeah, it's a bit of a turn right now. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, with the Kayla storyline, you know, obviously you have the Steve disappearance, but also Kayla had to had to give up her morality a little right. bit, helping Stefan, spying on Kate and all that. How do you feel with the direction of what happened, has been happening with Kayla? Well, you know, the, the, the way that I could justify it, because it was, you know, stepping out of her normal uh, way, was she will do anything for her family, and she would do anything to help Steve get his sight back even to uh, hide it from him, who is the love of her life, who she doesn't hide things from. So she went way out on a limb and kind of sold her soul to the devil, and it had some repercussions, yeah. bad repercussions. So she has to live with that now, but um, I think she had to do it. She had, but, but it was the, um, but her impetus was because she wanted to help him. She wanted to take care of her husband. Uh -huh. So I justified it by the passion of my family. I am enjoying like how Kayla is becoming a, a, a real advice giver to like the younger characters, I love that like too. Abby. And yes, and Casey Moss. I I love my scenes with them. I, yeah. I just, and and Lucas also. I just love that, and I, I I feel very close to all of them, and I sort of like mothering like that, and so um, I, I I really like those scenes. Well, I, I listened to the first day's podcast that you were part of, and I really enjoyed it. And you were just taking over and asking those I questions. Know. And you have I your know. blank blog. I'm wondering, would you ever want to like do I your own show? Know. Well, you have to tell Michael Fairman over there because he's the guy. I think that would be fun. I, I know. I need to. I need to. Maybe I'll go out and talk to fans or something. Maybe I'll go out and do something oh, something yeah. different. Yeah. Knock on doors. Maybe I'll be like the uh, publishers uh, clearinghouse sweepstakes. Just knock on doors and talk to people. You could maybe talk to them about like incorporating your plank blog into like the days app somehow. Mm -hmm. That would be. Oh, yeah. I know. I think I wrote 155 or something. Like that. A lot. I mean, yeah. it was a lot. And then I wrote for another. Uh, uh, a mom magazine before that so and I'm not even a writer so um, I just like to talk uh, yeah I'm a talker I just want to ask you guys like a few little favorite questions what is a favorite character that you would like to work with that you haven't been able to work with yet like who would you like to see Trip do a scene with that Stefan Demera I've never had anything with Stefan and I would love to the be way he's messed your family over. that's why that's why that's why I would I would really like I'd really like that to like to have him because it I mean, Trip cool would. You could have confronted him. That's or what something. I'm saying. Yeah. I would really like to see something like that, like a yeah. like confrontation between the two. I don't yeah, know. That'd be really. That be I think good. that'd be a lot of fun. I like that idea yeah. too. Especially because mm. how dark Trip has kind of gone, especially with Ben in town, and yeah. so I think it'd been a, it'd be really fun to. I don't like, want him to recruit you to the other no, no, side. No, no, though. no, 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 no. Okay, no, good. No, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. That's what, don't that's do that. Why I would like to just like I'd like to just kind of have him try to and just throw it back in his face. Yeah. Just to tell him no. Toe to toe. Just to tell him no. Yeah, that would be good. <laughs> I think for me, uh, John Aniston, I don't you know, I don't work oh. with him very often. I, I, maybe it's been twice or whatever. I mean, very, very rarely have I ever oh. worked with him. But I love him, and I think he's great, uh -huh. and he's funny. and um, So maybe him. Yeah. Favorite day's villain? Well, I think Stefan's pretty darn yeah, great. Yeah, Stefan's he's like, he's pretty, pretty bad. Well, he's, he's screwed over the Johnson family. Yeah. Uh, I mean, he's <laughs> cool. so, I mean, yeah, as it affected us the most would be him for sure. Because, you know, there was yeah. always, uh, you know, Stefano, but he never, he didn't really affect our life so much. But Stefan really. Or like, yeah. or really, really been. Like, whenever he was really like a villain, like I got to see some of his stuff and that was like, he was, he was just a villain. And that's why I really, I really liked, like, I mean, Rob was he's incredibly he showed, talented. He, oh, and when so he took like, that midwife out behind the yeah. building and shot her or something, yeah. it was like, oh, yeah. my and gosh. So, so like that, <laughs> it and, was 
crazy. Yes, yeah, so I'd say like I'd say uh, Stefan and yeah. probably Ben. Yeah. Yeah. Is there like a favorite set you like to work on? Like maybe if you get on the set, it brings you into character right away, or a set you feel real comfortable in, like a. The loft for me. I, I don't know. The loft for me is just always one of those sets that's just like it makes me feel at home while mm -hmm. I'm there because there's always something that I can mess with or do, and so I don't have to like just be standing still or something. Uh -huh. So I I, don't, I think the loft is something that really gets me kind of going. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, I love the Patch and Kayla house. I think that was a beautiful, beautiful set. It doesn't come out very often because we it's a budget thing about sets. But I have, I mean, always the Brady Pub. I mean, you go in there yeah. and it just feels like home and family and um, it's just been there forever. I mean, we don't even change the tablecloths really, you know, I mean, it's just, they like to leave it as it is. But, um, so probably there, but I, I love the Patch and Kayla house. Uh -huh. And I like my office because I just get to sit in a chair usually the yeah. whole time, which is great. Yeah, no blocking today. Yeah. <laughs> if you could play any other character on the show besides your own, who would you want to play? You know, I never thought about it before, but maybe Hope, actually. Hmm. Because she's fiery and tough and, you know, I'm a little softer, kinder. She's, she's kind, but she's tough, so. Maybe her. And she gets to wear those really beautiful blazers all the time. Yeah. I like that. I'd and a badge. She gets to wear a badge. I'd say maybe Chad. Chad would be a fun character yeah. because he has kind of his hands on like in both pots. Yes, you know I what I mean? That. So I think that would have been that would be kind of like a cool mm -hmm. character to play. 